It's me, Mario. I hated the mushroom, so no, no mud water for me. Also, I believe if I buy the mud water, they still give me the ads. Why it have to be mushroom? We are making matcha. It's late, but I still want my pre-workout. I'm going to do another half a session. So uh, it's caffeine free. I don't know. It's supposed to be like a superfood. Um, a little bit of milk, but we used uh, pomegranate molasses. It's a super bougie ingredient I barely use. It gives it a little bit of flavor. There's some creatine in there. You can skip that, of course. And then the last batch I made wasn't sweet enough, so I'm going to add a little bit of stevia. Dump that in. A little bit of water. Well, you can tell just by the color how fun that's going to be. Give me two secs. Here's a real strength test. Can you get the last ice cube out of one of, the, one of these trays? If you can't, chances are your trays are already worn out pretty well. Oh man, I almost did that again. I keep filtering my water and then forgetting to like make my ice trays the filtered water. We'll get half of it on the counter, don't worry. For some reason I have trouble keeping any sort of milk. And all the protein milks are much more shelf stable. Almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, cashew milk, any of the substitutes last 10 times longer in the fridge. Coconut milk comes in a can, so when I'm making these things and you see me using all these weird milks, it's not because I'm trying to use more expensive ingredients or whatever that's literally just what I can keep there you go whether you're using matcha or some sort of alternative um, like a blue pea powder or let's say you have like a Peanut butter powder, something like that. Protein milk, even protein powder. If you don't, if you have regular milk, you can use your protein in here with some instant coffee, and then you have a tea or coffee drink. 